am Jocelyn Horst. I'm here to introduce myself to all of you and tell you a little bit about my background um, and hopefully give you some tips and advice that will assist you in further developing your career. I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations for Premier Salons for those of you that I haven't met, but first and foremost, I'm a stylist. I stood behind the chair for many years and know what it takes uh, to make it in this business. It's a tough business and I have the utmost respect for all of you um, and know that each day can present new and interesting challenges. Um, I entered into management uh, in 1996 with Premier Salons. I've been with the company 16 years. And the reason why I got into management wasn't because I didn't love uh, standing behind the chair and have complete and total passion for the industry and, and dealing with my clients every day. I entered into management because I felt that I saw way too many young, talented people that left the industry because they didn't feel that they could have a lucrative career and make money doing what they loved. I thought that was really sad and unfortunate, and I had figured out myself the key to growth, success, and sustainable clientele, and felt that I could share that with more people if I took the route of management. So that's why I got into managing. I found that it was about creating a point of difference with customers, and that clients had grown to accept uh, medi mediocrity um, in this business and that they had been to many salons and had many bad experiences and some of them have some of them had found that stylist that person that they connected with and took great care of them um, however a lot of them had grown to just be accustomed uh, to seeing any old stylist and getting any old service and I really felt that there was a way that we could do it better that I could do it better as a stylist and that was through consultation with my customers if there's one thing that I could encourage everybody uh, viewing this video to really take into consideration and really embrace it's that that five minutes that you take with your customer before you start a service is so critically important uh, to building the relationship to delivering the service that they're looking for and ultimately gaining referrals and that's how we build in this business and how we achieve excellence is through referrals from our existing customer base let's face it we're not in busy locations. We're not, the busy bus is never gonna pull up and drop off customers. So we have to find other ways that we can build from the core clientele that we have today in our salons. And that's really through delivering a standard to that customer that's gonna give them that wow factor that they've never received before. I will tell you, I've had salon services and salons all over Canada and the United States and even the Caribbean, and I've never had anybody provide a consultation that gave me that wow factor. And it leads me to think that at no cost, at no real true additional effort, on the part of the company, but on the part of our staff in the field, we could do something that would deliver something to customers that they've never had before. And that's just through a conversation. So I wanna take this time today to really teach all of you and talk to you about how I think we should go about that approach with the customer and how we can make it just that much spe more special for our guests when they come into our salon environment. I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step consultation, which is the exact consultation that I did when I stood behind the chair for many, many years that gave me great success and great professional accomplishment um, in what I was doing for each customer when they left my salon every single day. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, I hope that you have fun with it. And I, most of all, I hope that you take it back to your salons and that you really embrace it and you take it to heart and you implement it. And in a matter of days, you'll see a difference. I promise you that.